Hello everyone. Let's study about resonance. When a periodic force is applied on a body in such a way that the frequency of the applied periodic force is equal to the natural frequency of the oscillator, then vibrations of a large amplitude occur. These oscillations are called resonant or sympathetic oscillations and this phenomenon is called as resonance. So whenever an applied force is acting on the system and if it is a periodic applied force with angle of frequency omega d and when this frequency of the applied force if this equal to the natural frequency omega naught then the amplitude becomes greater. See the words frequency or angular frequency is used interchangeably here because omega naught actually means angular frequency but sometimes in these cases we also use the word as frequency that is because omega is equal to 2 into pi into f. If we put it here then what we get is so we get ft is equal to f naught. So this leads to this equation so the words are interchangeable. So this condition is called as resonance. To understand in further way, let's recall what is a damped oscillator. So we saw that in case of a damped oscillator, for example, like a spring mass system going on a table. So each time this mass oscillates or vibrates on the table during each cycle the amplitude would decrease. So after each cycle it will have a lesser amplitude. If we need to sustain the oscillations or if we need to increase the amplitude then we apply a periodic force. That force will have its own angular frequency. When that frequency or that angular frequency called as omega d if that matches omega naught then the system will have a greater amplitude. To understand further way let's recall the amplitude in case of a applied periodic force acting on a damped oscillator. So this amplitude a is given as f naught by m square it is omega square omega naught square minus omega d square the whole square plus omega d square b square this whole power half so this is the expression for amplitude in case of a periodic applied force acting on a damped oscillator if we assume that omega d or if you assume that b is 0 that is damping 0 then this term goes away then what we get from here is we get the amplitude a as it will be f naught by m into omega naught square minus omega d square because here the square root half gets cancelled this is what we get as seen from here a depends on omega d also now if you keep varying the frequency then what is seen is at one point at one point if omega d is equal to omega naught in that case a tends to infinity otherwise in this case if you take a damped oscillator in that case a would become greater not infinite that is if this term is not zero then a becomes greater so if we plot a graph of amplitude versus frequency this is what we get as the frequency is increasing we find that even the amplitude will increase at some point when the applied frequency is equal to the natural frequency that is the plotting graph of applied frequency or applied frequency with amplitude when this becomes equal to f naught we get a larger amplitude 
again when the frequency decreases even the amplitude also will decrease so this is the graph for amplitude versus applied frequency the same phenomenon of resonance is seen in many places also let's take one example to make sense out of it think for example that there is a station which is transmitting signals at say 98.5 megahertz so there is some station which is transmitting at this frequency suppose think that we have a receiver for example think of a transistor or a receiver and then here we are tuning this receiver in this case what we are doing is we are trying to adjust the receiver's frequency to get waves from here imagine that when the frequency what we tune here is 98 megahertz then the reception the signal what we get would be little better we make it as 98.1 megahertz then we get a better clarity make it 98.3 we get still better clarity 98.4 the clarity or the reception is still better than the previous case when we make it at 98.5 for this frequency we get the maximum reception we get maximum clarity if we go away from 98.5 say to 98.6 then it becomes little bad when you go away still further say 98.8 it goes still bad which means in this case when the frequency is increased so we're trying to match it when we increase applied frequency we find that the reception the clarity is increasing at some frequency it becomes maximum again it will decrease so the graph would be something of this kind only so the idea of resonance is not restricted only to amplitude it could be any factor it could be for example reception of signals could be anything could be particles vibration could be anything so in case of resonance some parameter becomes constant that parameter could be energy it could be amplitude it could be power also but in this case we are talking only about amplitude so keep in mind that at resonance some parameter become maximum this condition is called as resonance let's look at some examples of resonance example one is swing now imagine that this person let us call this person a this person is sitting on a swing and it is oscillating and let us call this as person b when the person b gives a push initially to the swing person a then the person a would oscillate between two and say till here till this point but when the person goes to the extreme end and when the person comes back the person will not reach till this end it is because the person is moving through atmosphere which would offer a resistive force because of which energy has been lost since energy is been lost this person will not come to the same point in case if we need to increase the amplitude further then this person b would give a push that push would be like a periodic force now suppose this periodic force if it is applied in synchronization with the motion then a would increase that is in this case if the person b applies a per, applies a force and the person moves away from him as given here then the amplitude would increase otherwise if the person applies a force when this person is coming towards this person b then there is chance of disturbing the motion so this is the character applying a force but the idea here is when the frequency applied by this person that is when this frequency what the person applies for example imagine that the person goes and comes back in two seconds so if this person applies a force after every two seconds then the frequency would be matching in this case 
when the person pushes at the correct time the person a will have greater amplitude so this is an example of resonance example 2 is seen in case of a sonometer which is a device as you all might have learnt in lab this is a sonometer it contains two knife edges over which there is a string passing one end of the string is tied or held at one side and on the other end of the string a tension would act now suppose if we strike a tuning fork and place it on this gap then for some distance for some distance between the two strings what will happen is the frequency set up in the string depends on length so by adjusting the length between the two knife edges we can keep a certain frequency and also this tuning fork will have its own frequency when the frequency of the tuning fork matches with the frequency for a given length in that case we get resonance at that point these small papers kept on this would vibrate vigorously that means in this case the amplitude is greater again here it is an example of resonance example 3 is about soldiers very often we come across seeing that whenever soldiers are asked to cross say a bridge as shown here these soldiers are asked to break step so break up step doesn't mean they break the steps here rather what it means is that every object will have its own frequency of oscillation even this bridge also has its own frequency of oscillation we may not see it because of its low amplitude but everything around us is oscillating with certain frequency and certain amplitude the amplitude will be so small we can't even see it so in this case even this bridge also has its own frequency of oscillation now each time a person steps onto this bridge example thing this as the starting point of the bridge if you imagine that every person steps onto a bridge at a given time imagine that every person steps after every two seconds and the frequency would be 1 by 2 that is 0.5 hertz so if a person steps after every two seconds so this becomes like an external force this external force will have its own frequency of in this case 0.5 hertz so if the more and more person keeps setting then what happens is as time goes on this bridge will start to oscillate with this frequency of 0.5 hertz only so when more and more person starts getting onto the bridge then the frequency of this applied force which is the person getting onto the bridge would match its frequency and this would cause resonance because of which this bridge would have a greater amplitude if the amplitude is greater it may even break the bridge also that's the reason that soldiers whenever they're crossing a bridge they are asked to break up step example 4 is about the pendulum bobs given here we have learned that the time period of a simple pendulum is given by 2 pi under root of l by g frequency is 1 by time period that will be 1 by under root of g by l so here t depends on root l directly because for all the pendulums g is same and also this time period doesn't depend on mass now if you give a if you give a push to one pendulum for example if we push this pendulum this would oscillate because of which this would make even the solder oscillate so because of because of energy transfer even 2 would oscillate and 2 would transfer some energy to 3 3 would transfer energy to 4 and 4 to 5 that is because these are 
connected by a wire and it has been transferred from pendulum 1 to pendulum 5. If we keep giving energy to pendulum 1, that is if we keep pushing it by some means, if a force is applied on this pendulum, then this would have its own frequency called as omega d. Because of this, the lengths of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are different. The lengths of 1 and 4 are equal. Otherwise, leaving 1 and 4, the lengths are different. So each pendulum will have its own frequency. But we learned in early lectures that whenever an applied force acts on a system, as time goes on, the system's natural frequency would be lost and the system would oscillate with the applied frequency. So in this case, after some time, each of the pendulums, that is pendulum 2, 3 and 5, would oscillate with the frequency of the applied force. So even though they are different lengths, lengths of 1, 2, 3 and 5 are different, but after some time all will have same frequency. But the case of 4 is different. That is because 1 and 4 have same length, they have same frequency. Each time an external force acts on this 4, acts on this pendulum 1, it would cause an increase in amplitude of 4. So each time force acts on 1, 4 will have a greater amplitude which is like a resonance. So there are many more examples of resonance around us but the basic point is whenever a system is in resonance some parameter would become maximum. In this case it is the amplitude.